whose last professional job was playing a lead in a musical that I wrote, and he was such a lovely guy. I used to call him the governor, you know. Hey, governor, can you do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I can do that, you know. Mm. And what about, like, meeting a, a picture of Laurence Olivier and uh, John Gilgood? What about those? Well, uh, I think Olivier was my great sort of hero because in the old days when instead of having colour TVs or black and white TVs, I think our TV was like either black and black or black and very dark grey. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I saw his Richard III, and, uh, which had two effects on me. One effect was how wonderful he was. And the other effect I had was seeing Gene Simmons for the first time. He slurped. And I thought, my God, if I had her waiting for me as a present after doing well as Kirk Douglas did in Spartacus, I'd be good at sword fighting as well. And it, I only had to wait about 15 years because after 15 years, I found myself as Gene Simmons' um, beau young boy, I was a toy boy, and she was a great lady, and what a beautiful woman. And this is one of the things that I find is so strange now, because, um, you know, we don't have those ladies like Jean Simmons and Hedy Lamar and Elizabeth Taylor and Vivian Lee. Why? I don't know. Why? Well, I'm asking you, you don't want to tell me about that. <laughs> I've got a lovely story to tell you about Hedy Lamar. can I tell you? Um, well, a, friend, a, a guy wrote to me and he said, oh, it was a sweet story, he said that Hedy Lamar has just had two cataract operations and she went home to recover and the doctor turned up and took the bandages off of her eyes. And as he took the bandages off of her eyes, the television was on and she saw my uh, tockers up in the air. And she just fell in love with me. It was so sweet. And I spoke to her and everything. And she said, I said, oh, can I have a photograph of you, please, Hedy? And she said, okay, darling, it's one from 1932, okay? So I said, yes, okay. So we had a sort of uh, love affair in a way through by letter, and it was really sweet. But all those women were so sexy and lovely and full of life, they weren't they? And I, Jean was a really special girl. I tried to get her once here and I, it didn't work out, but when I talked to her, she said, you don't mean Gene Simmons, you don't want Gene Simmons, the singer. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I want you! I want Gene Simmons from, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of Hedy Lamar and him, her falling in love with you, Romeo and Juliet, talk a little bit, we're, we're getting into Romeo and Juliet. Now, how did you get the part of Romeo? You're awfully good at this, aren't you, Bob? <laughs> Isn't he, Bob, that? Yeah. <laughs> um, how did I get the part? Well, um, I was actually the youngest member of the National Theatre at the time, and I had to audition for Sir Laurence Olivier, and I got the part uh, of a singer in a production called Love for Love, which is a Congreve play. and. Um, you know, this was a play, uh, um, a, a play when the National Theatre was run by the Old Vic, uh, in the Old Vic. And if any of you guys have been to the greatest city in the world, yeah, okay, forget the big apple, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. My hometown. And um, um, at that point in time, the, the, the whole of the National Theatre was run from a beautiful little theatre in Waterloo called the Old Vic and the Old Vic is a beautiful theatre and I loved it because it wasn't only because of the lovely old-fashioned Victorian architecture but the acoustics were so good that you could whisper on stage and they could hear you at the back of the circle and one of my greatest friends is a man called Sir Derek Jacobi and I'm sure some of you people over there have heard of the thing he's doing at the moment called Vicious that he's doing with Ian McKellen, yeah? Damn. <laughs> anyway, I said to Derek, I said, Derek, what is your favourite theatre that you've ever played? And he's played in hundreds. He said, the Old Vic. And I said, why is that, Derek? He said, because the Old Vic is a theatre that wants you to do well. Isn't that a sweet thing to say about a theatre? Um, 
So anyway, I was doing Love for Love and